Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to fetch those data. In previous video, you would have seen how to add using jQuery Ajax. So in this video, we will fetch using jQuery Ajax. Before getting started with the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting a notification and do watch the video till the end so that you will understand more better. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get into the video. So in previous video, I would have stopped till the stored part. So in this video, we are going to fetch. So we have already done the table part. But these are dummy datas. We have the actual datas inside this image crud. So these are the original data that we have stored. So these are dummy datas. So let's see how to fetch that data using jQuery Ajax. So here, this is our insertion part. So let's keep this aside. And we are going to work with the fetching part, right? So for that, let's remove this two row. And now let's go reload this. Yeah. So now for fetching, what we have to do is we will be creating a function or else you can do, you can create a function and work with this. Here let's create a function. Function and I am giving the name for the function as get data or get student data. Get student data is my function name. Okay, so inside this function. I'll tell JQ Ajax. So here I'm just going to get the data which has been previously stored. So I will be using get method here and the URL I'll just tell fetch.php and these data and data types are not required. So let's remove that and here let's console log. Hello. And check if this is so here we have created a function that function has to be called inside this document so you can just create this function inside document but then creating outside would be much better so I've just called the function there I'll reload I just right click console so oh, this is because I have not yet created that fetch page okay just a minute, I'll just go create that first page. So here fetch.php. Let's click here. Here, let's create fetch.php. Okay. So now if I go reload, I'll get that hello. Okay. So yeah, first thing is done. And here we don't require hello anymore. We are going to fetch the data. So what you are going to do is we'll pass this response that we are the response that we are getting we'll just pass it here so whatever we are fetching that will be displayed in console log so this is going to fetch.php so similar way we have to do which we have done in code.php so what we'll do is we'll copy this connection and paste it here and close so here we are going to tell dollar fetch student query is equal to select star from php ajax again student query run using my sqli query just pass the connection and pass this variable copy paste so now using if my SQLI number of rows function of dollar fetch query run is greater than zero greater than zero means there is data present okay else there is no 
data present so we'll just echo result is equal to no record found okay if there is data found we are going to loop and get it so we'll be using for each dollar fetch query run as dollar row okay so so normally what we do is after this we'll just tell dollar row of name id so here you can't do like that here we have another method which we'll be storing it in an array and pass in a json format and get that data so how to do that is first let's create an array so here i'm going to tell um, result array is equal to empty here we have one we have created one empty array so here what we are doing is so using array push function we'll just tell that array name comma dollar row so now the value will be stored in the form of array but we want to get that data which is there in array so for that just tell header and inside this you can give content type application slash json and just tell echo json encode of this array copy paste the comma uh, sorry give a semicolon now let's see if we are getting our data in a form of array so here reload you can see three datas we have got in form of array so to see this no you have to make sure that in footer you have passed the response okay so after this we are getting it here but we want it in the form of table of format right so let's comment it here comment this here use a for loop here so here we tell as for for each jq each tell jq each so this connection so this connection is the response that we are getting and here we will just tell key value key value okay and let's console log value of name okay so only the names should be printed so here we are getting the name this we need to print in a table of format how to do that similar way how we have done comment this and here using append function okay you have to use append function dollar dot append So here what I will be pasting is let's go to index and here we are going to take this part right so we need this part to be looped so let's cut this so before cutting add a class to this and tell student data so this student data class has to be we are giving the class name so paste this class name here and append it accordingly give a slash and copy this entire tr cut from here and paste it inside here okay now add a slash for everything and this has to be concatenated so control backslash okay so remove the backslash here and concatenate it so that's it and here we are going to we have the th here so let's remove this actually not required we need the td right so here what we are going to do is we are going to tell 
value of what value of of course it's name no first id right so id so let's go reload we'll see if the id is getting fetched so here you can see there are three id that is getting fetched and these are dummy data which is getting looped so id is getting fetched accordingly so let's go change this also to paste paste this will be as name email copy paste once again Tell this as phone, copy paste and department. So here accordingly we have to design which is ID, name, email, phone, department, phone, email. Let's reload. So here you can see ID, name, email, phone, department. So we have fetched everything accordingly. Let's add a table border here. Table border. Now let's go reload. So you can get. So we have fetched the data correctly. But I want the data to be added without reloading the page. For example, I'm adding, clicking on add data. And I'm adding here as home. Home at gmail.com. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And department is BCA. I'm going to save data. So here you can see data is added successfully. Data is added here as well. But without reloading, I'm not able to see that data here in that in the index page so if i reload you can see i'll get the data how to do without page reload i want to get that data immediately after i insert so how to do that so for that here you have one function right the get student function so this get student function use it after the success message so here before that just give this which is student data right student student data this is a class name dot html within double quotes and here just call this function get student data just call here now what happens is when I upload one data, so I'm going to upload Merlin, Merlin at the rate gmail.com. And then, and she's from BCA. So something like this. And when I click on save data, what happens is this gets added immediately after this. So, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any doubt or suggestion, do let me know in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. In next video, we'll see how to work with view a particular user's data in pop-up model. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.